Hey guys, my name is Lily and this might just be my greatest thrift haul yet. The reason this might just be my greatest thrift haul yet is because I have so many designer vintage pieces, which is my favorite thing to find when I thrift. I've been thrifting since I was a little kid, so it's like second nature to me now, and I love finding designer things there. So this haul, I have a couple of designer vintage items and then just some plain vintage. I haven't been thrifting as much as I used to. I used to go like once or twice a week, and now I go like once a month. I just haven't been in the mood. But now that I found all this good stuff, I'm back in the spirit and wanting to thrift more, so stay tuned for more thrift hauls. But let's start this one. Let's start off with the designer things. And on top, the number one best little designer thing ever. This is one of my favorite things I've ever found. Honestly, like I love this item. So it's this little black Prada bag. These little bags are so trendy right now. Like I cannot believe I found this. Well, I mean, I can believe it because I'm holding it, but like it's crazy. Like this is so trendy right now. I probably wouldn't have liked these little bags just a few years ago, but now they're just the cutest thing ever. And it's so like, you just put it on and go. It's so easy. Like, I don't get it how great it is. I've never found anything Prada before, so this is my very first Prada item. And I am so happy that it's such a versatile, like, classic piece. It can actually hold a decent amount. It's like black nylon, so it's really easy to clean too. And I've been using it a ton since I got it. And I'm going to tell you guys the prices this time because I know in my past thrift hauls you guys asked the prices but I never remembered them. But this one I left the price tag in. So, as you can see here, it was $9.99 but it just so happened to be a color of the week sale so everything that was red was 50% off so I got this bag for $5.00 insane and I've also looked at a ton of pictures online of authentic ones so I'm 100% sure this is authentic because of the interior and this little logo here and it just seems pretty legit but this is like one of my favorite finds ever the fact that it's black and so versatile is so great this is definitely a piece I'm gonna keep in my wardrobe and my designer collection for a very long time and I found this at just a simple goodwill like I just walked in found it there you go this plain goodwill. The next item are these little Salvatore Ferragamo sandals. These are also so trendy right now and such a great black basic shoe. I probably would not have liked these even like a year ago, but now that they're so trendy, I'm so obsessed. It has the Ferragamo buckle right there in silver. It's black, it's a little teeny heel. You just walk around and they're like barely ever worn. There's some like flakage there, but pretty much they're in amazing condition. I found these at a church thrift store. My boyfriend and I were getting coffee. I was like, let's stop in this little thrift store. I couldn't find much. And then I went to the shoe section and I saw the cursive writing and I just knew. I was like, oh my God. So you guys will never believe these were originally $4. But just so happened to be another 50% off day where they were $2, like literally $2 for $600 shoes. Iconic. Like, first off, these two items together in a black bikini, like, poolside, such a cute look, right? I'm so excited to wear this together. Summer 2019, hello, this is so cute. And both of these together were $6, $7. Both of these $7, ridiculous. Moving on, let's stick with accessories because it's making a lot of noise next to me. It is an umbrella, right? Crazy, okay. I like umbrellas. I feel like they're so versatile and useful. And um, obviously, why would I pass up a Burberry one? Like, hello? Let me just say, I've been wanting a Burberry raincoat for so long. So when I finally get one and I have this to match with it and I want a bucket hat too, it'll be like a full Burberry rain moment. The rain can't even stand a chance, okay? But anyways, this umbrella, let's get to it. I am at an estate sale, right? And would you consider that thrifting? I'm calling it thrifting because it's like secondhand goods. Sorry, my camera overheated. Where were we? Imagine it, you know, I'm at the estate sale. I'm not finding anything cute. I'm looking around, it's kind of bummed. I go downstairs, my hands are going down the rail and it stops when I see this hanging at the end. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is Burberry. And then I got closer and it actually is Burberry. So, small history lesson. Um, back in, I think, the 80s, Burberry was called Burberry's apostrophe S. And then they changed it to just Burberry back in like the 90s, I guess. 
So if you ever find vintage Burberry, it says Burberries, which is very confusing because you think it's like fake or something. But I've actually seen that they've kind of brought back that logo in the Logo Mania to be like cool because it is really cute. I'll show you. It's like dead stock, still in the like wrapping. This is like what it came in, which is so crazy. So it's never been used, which is awesome. But this is what it says. Burberries. Um, and a like gold plated little thing, like how official. And it was $7. $7 for like a normal umbrella is like a good deal, but like $7 for a Burberry umbrella is awesome. I'm so excited to use this. I cannot wait till I have like the bucket hat, the trench coat, this. It's gonna be such a look, I'm so excited. So all together on all those items, I still haven't even spent, what, $14? like less than $20 for three designer items. Moving on to clothing now. The first designer piece is this little brown leather skirt. I got this off Poshmark. So once again, I didn't actually find it at the thrift store, but it's still like secondhand shopping. Um, and it happens to be the one, the only Gianna Versace. So cute, right? Um, so online it said it was like an extra small, it's a little bit big for me, but I think if I wear like a chunky sweater in the fall and like tuck it in a little bit with boots, it's gonna be such a cute little moment. It's very, very soft, like buttery soft. And I'm just really happy to finally have a nice little Gianni Versace skirt. I think I only have like one Versace thing and I love Versace, so I wanna collect more Versace. Oh, and this. Like I said, I got it on Poshmark. I think I got it for $20 plus like $7 shipping. So like $27 for a little leather skirt. Like that's such a steal, such a steal. This is the last designer piece and it's these little jammies. They are blue and white striped, just cotton, nice quality pajamas. I got this in the pajama section at a plain regular Goodwill. I think their pajama sets are like $8 or something. So. Each piece was basically like four. The top is just your normal pajama top with white piping and collar with white buttons and pockets at the bottom. And it's Christian Dior, my absolute favorite. So I found these in the women's pajama section, but they're definitely men's pajamas and they're size medium, but they're like a nice, loose, comfy pajama when I do wear them. The vibe I get from these pajamas is like a rich old man smoking a cigar while drinking coffee reading his Wall Street Journal in a brownstone in New York City. And I'm not gonna, you know, veer from that idea. That's exactly what these pajamas are to me. They're very cute. I really like them. And honestly, that's like my fifth Christian Dior pajama piece. I don't know why I have so many Dior pajamas, but I do. Moving on to this last little chunk of groovy, fun colored things. These are all just vintage, they're not designer, they're just vintage. So we all know that little straw circular bag trend is going on and I found this, which is just like it, but seashells, it's like a summer version of it. It's so cute. And this was $3.99 from a plain Goodwill. I don't wanna say plain, I just mean like a normal Goodwill, not like anything else like that. Um, but yeah, look at this, look at this. It's like little, it's like the strap isn't like crossbody, so it's like just so tiny, but it's just so cute and it's just like so structured. I really like this. Geechee. Then we have this colorful, bright, happy, sunshiny little robe. I'm gonna guesstimate that this is from the 60s or the 70s, judging by the pattern and the material, it's like plastic. Um, the designer happens to be Coal of California, which I've never heard of before, but it still has the strap and everything, which is really cool because I feel like when you thrift things, like stuff like that is missing. So it's really great that it's lasted with it that long. It's like a flare sleeve and it's kind of a cropped little robe. It's like more like a kimono. It's very, very cute. I just feel happy and bright when I wear this one. And I think this was probably five to seven dollars. I just got this at a regular Goodwill also. I'm not sure how much they charge for their robes. The last item is this little two-piece set. I got this at a regular Goodwill and I think it's probably around eight dollars. But the brand is this. I've never heard of it before. But it's like a really cool geometric long sleeve top. 
and then long pants. They're like high-waisted, couple of layers. So they're really fun and flowy. And I just feel like this is something you could not get in a store today. Like thrifting is so fun because you find fun clothes like this that you just wouldn't find elsewhere. I just think this is so groovy and fun. I wore it in one of my videos. I just love this set. So yeah, that is everything for this vintage designer thrift haul. I will definitely have more in the future for you guys. I need to thrift more and I need to film more for you guys. But I love these kinds of videos and I hope you do too. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also follow me on Instagram so you can see me wearing these things. <laughs> that was weird.